I'm just gonna put this right here. You guys freaking suck. What are you guys shouting about? Well, Sydney, we're trying to figure out who's the better pranker. It's me! Alright, alright. There's only one way to settle this. Prank war! Obviously, my prank is the best. I just prank call people. They just don't see it. So, for instance, I'm just gonna prank call Coach O right now. Hello? Hey, are you going to the Gifted Robotics Night, March 5th, and then the next day, Club Day? I'll be there. Alright, so my prank is going to be on March 8th, early release, end of third quarter. I'm going to throw all these Nutri-Grain bars all over Logan. Jordan, what the heck? Oh, man. So I got this kid, he's a middle schooler, but on March 7th, he doesn't want to go to the baseball jamboree with me at Hillcrest. So I'm going to prank him and make him eat one of these two year expired Nutrigrain bars. Yeah, I won, and I knew I would too. Jordan, shut your mouth. Sorry. It's helping me to get to know my teammates and the upcoming freshmen, and it's giving us all opportunities to work together and work on like passing and dribbling watching the freshmen get more confidence in themselves. I think it's been a good experience being able to work with teammates and develop our close range skills and just working on short things and basic things like passing and dribbling and shooting. I hope we all develop a lot of skills for like the eighth grade and the freshmen. So, because I know what Coach Flores needs uh, good athletes to come and play soccer and they need to be good assets to the team and show that they're very encouraging and they really care about the sport. I think I've personally improved a lot, not really on ball control or skills, maybe a little bit in that category, but the main thing I think I've improved at is um, just knowing what to do with the ball. I think it's really helping the underclassmen a lot and everybody. Um, I've seen a lot of improvement from Preston Coton Beetle, mainly on just knowledge of the game and kind of what to do in certain situations. I've seen a lot of aggression out of Riley Webb. I think my favorite part of the field trip was getting to go into the classroom and interacting and observing the students. My favorite part was getting to walk in the rain. From the Evangel field trip, I got to learn the many opportunities they have for you to be involved academically and sports-wise. From going to Evangel, I got to learn how they want to prepare you for life after college, going into the real world and trying to find a job. We went to Evangel because every year um, FTA, Future Teachers of America, goes to a local university and we tour the campus and uh, in particular we explore the education department to see what it's like for kids that are going to try to major in education when they get to college. So we went to Evangel because it's one of our local colleges. They give a lot of scholarships to Fairgrove students and they really care about trying to entice us to go there.
Sir, would you make a copy for me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I do not have a certain job that I'm required to do. Um, we clean the station a lot, we wash the trucks. Obviously, if we have a call, I go on it and I do whatever the guys tell me to do on the call. So if it's a medical, I have to grab the medical bag and assist, take blood pressure. I'm a volunteer and so I don't have um, a specified number of hours that I have to go in a week. Um, we have to meet a quota of 12 hours a month, but I try to go in as many days after school as I can and on the weekends and be up there as much as possible. With the Springfield Police Cadets, we really just volunteer for different events such as uh, the fair, you know, we work the uh, sort of help desk, you know, tell people directions to places and help them you know, just get around where they need to go. And we do some paperwork down at the station. Personally, this won't help me out at all. I'm just doing it for kicks and giggles, mainly. But uh, if someone was to want to become a police officer, this doing the cadets for three years would shave off about 30 college credits that you would need because you need 60 to join the police force. Jolt is a non-denominational Christian organization that meets on Thursday mornings at 745 either in the courtyard when it's nice weather or in the high school library computer lab when it is not so nice weather. It's been a while that we've taken a mission trip to Mexico but we took one last year over spring break and um, we went to the border and ministered to an orphanage and a few other places. Mainly we were at an orphanage where we did some improvements to their facility, uh, repaired their sidewalk, uh, dug out a foundation for their cistern, and built a chicken coop that was actually going to house ducks. We got to play with the orphans, did some games with them, uh, bought hamburgers for them one day, and that's Mexico. The organization that we work with and partner with is Project Fortify, Sean and Carla Estes, uh, projectfortify.org if you ever want to look them up and kind of see what they're all about, that would give you some information. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. I wanna roll with.